Can you feel my wrath returning? Can you feel the flame igniting? All shall burn! No one refines a genre like Blizzard, and Heroes of the Storm, the company's latest, is a spin on the traditional MOBA. Games like League of Legends or Dota are famously intimidating, but Heroes of the Storm is far more accessible, featuring an excellent tutorial that gets everyone up to speed in about 15 minutes. Like Blizzard's best, simplicity doesn't come at the cost of death, and Heroes of the Storm contains plenty of nuances that make it fun even dozens of hours later. First and foremost, Heroes of the Storm doesn't hold any MOBA convention sacred. Players don't acquire individual levels, certain mechanics like last hitting are gone, and you don't buy items to supplement your character. Instead, killing monsters and other players on the map puts experience into the team's shared experience pool. As your team gains levels, you earn new talents that function much like the skills in other MOBAs. Having team levels gives Heroes of the Storm a more all-for-one feel than other games in the genre. Everyone needs to do their part for the team to succeed, and individual mistakes are de-emphasized. In Dota or League, one bad player can ruin the match for everyone, but here what matters most is banding together to take map objectives. In other MOBAs, completing optional objectives like killing Roshan in Dota 2 or Baron in League of Legends provides a nice boost but doesn't ensure a win. In Heroes of the Storm, it's nearly impossible to taste victory without them. So far, there are four maps, and each has its own unique goal. In Cursed Hollow, players scramble to collect three pieces of tribute. Upon collecting the third tribute, the enemy team becomes cursed, meaning their minions and buildings have severely limited health. Being cursed makes the enemy so vulnerable that your team can just plow through a lane and decimate their defenses. An ally has been slain. These objectives make matches exciting since they practically guarantee huge battles. When tributes appear on the map, for example, both teams drop whatever they're doing to try and secure it. The only downside is that, like any other MOBA, it's often frustrating playing with random people that just don't want to coordinate. Just because you want to grab tribute doesn't mean others will follow suit. A good effort. Another huge change in Heroes of the Storm is just how fast things move. Matches in League of Legends and Dota typically run around the 40 to 45 minute mark, but last half that long in Heroes of the Storm. Part of the reason is due to the decisive effect of achieving your team objectives, but smaller touches also contribute to the quickened pace. Every hero can summon a mount at any time, increasing their movement speed significantly. It's more than a little strange seeing Diablo ride a horse, but will take convenience over plausibility any day. <sighs> what would? You'd think mashing together characters from three separate universes would make Heroes of the Storm stylistically inconsistent, but Warcraft's high fantasy look, Starcraft's sleek sci-fi vibe, and Diablo's gothic tone all come together as one in Heroes of the Storm. Small liberties are taken with the character designs, but they never make the heroes feel completely foreign. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, may be a bit shorter and stouter than he is in his own game, but he still stands menacingly over the rest of the cast. Even outlandish characters like Elite Torrent Chieftain, a bovine rock god of sorts, feel like they belong. Let's rock! While the characters look great, it's hard not to worry about how they're priced. Like League of Legends, a handful of random heroes are free to play, and the set changes from week to week. If you want to use anyone not included in the free set, you have to pay. Characters come with one of three price tags, $3.99, $7.49, and $9.99. The characters that are relatively easy to use tend to be on the lower end, with the more difficult ones costing the most. Death stirs within the mines. Shall you brave the darkness? However, even the supposed difficult characters are fairly simple to pick up if you're familiar with other MOBAs. We find ourselves wanting to switch regularly, and being stuck with a small roster gets old quick. You can buy characters earned with in-game gold, and Blizzard has said that prices aren't final, but when Dota 2 is offering more than 100 heroes for free, the current business model in Heroes of the Storm doesn't look too appealing. Let my golems rise again! Regardless of what ends up happening with the price, Heroes of the Storm is shaping up to be an impressively different take on an increasingly cluttered genre. As they've done countless times before, Blizzard has trimmed a lot of the fat found in other similar games to offer a more refined and approachable experience. Even if you typically don't care about MOBAs or can't tell a Tyrande from a Raynor, Heroes of the Storm is still extremely easy to get into and extremely fun to play. Victory.